gentlemen, welcome back on the chat. Today we are going to talk about coffee. We will talk about many things about coffee. What is inside coffee? What is coffee? And more. The very first question is, what is coffee? Coffee is a brewed drink prepared from roasted coffee beans, the seeds of berries from certain coffee species. From the coffee fruit, the seeds are separated to produce a stable raw product and roasted green coffee. The seeds are then roasted, a process which transforms them into a consumable product. Roasted coffee, which is ground into fine particles that are typically steeped in hot water before being flitted out producing a cup of coffee. Coffee is darkly colored, bitter, slightly acidic and has a stimulating effect in humans, primarily due to its caffeine content. It is one of the most popular drinks in the world and can be prepared and presented in a variety of ways. For example, espresso, french press, cafe light or already brewed canned coffee. It is usually served hot, although chilled or iced coffee is common. Sugar, sugar substitutes, milk or cream are often used to lessen the bitter taste or enhance the flavor. It may be served with coffee cake or another sweet dessert like donuts. A commercial establishment that sells prepared coffee beverages is known as a coffee house or coffee shop, not to be confused with Dutch coffee shops selling cannabis. The two most commonly grown coffee bean types are C. arabica or C. robusta. Coffee plants are cultivated in over 70 countries, primarily in the equatorial regions of the Americas, Southeast Asia, the Indian subcontinent and Africa. As of 2018, Brazil was the leading grower of coffee beans, producing 35% of the world total. Coffee is a major export commodity as the leading legal agricultural export of numerous countries. It is one of the most valuable commodities exported by developing countries. Green and roasted coffee is the most traded agricultural commodity and one of the most traded commodities overall, second only to petroleum. Despite the sales of coffee reaching billions of dollars, those actually producing the beans are disproportionately living in poverty. Critics also point to the coffee industry's negative impact on the environment, the clearing of land for coffee growing and water use. The environmental costs and wage disparity of farmers are causing the market for fair trade and organic coffee to expand. All coffee plants are classified in the large family Rubiaceae. They are evergreen shrubs or trees that may grow 5 meter, which means 15 feet tall when unpruned. Coffee production use a large volume of water. On average, it takes about 140 liters of water to grow the coffee beans needed to produce one cup of coffee. Producing one kilogram of roasted coffee in Africa, South America or Asia requires 26,400 liters of water. Coffee is often grown in countries where there is a water shortage such as Ethiopia. Used coffee grounds may be used for composting or as a mulch. They are especially appreciated by worms and acid-loving plants such as blueberries. Some commercial coffee shops run initiatives to make better use of these grounds, including Starbucks, Grounds of Your Garden Project and community-sponsored initiatives such as Ground to Ground. Climate change may significantly impact coffee yards during the 21st century, such as in Nicaragua and Ethiopia, which could lose more than half of the farming land suitable for growing Arabica coffee. As of 2016, at least 34% of global coffee production was compliant with voluntary sustainability standards such as Fairtrade, UTZ and 4C, the common code of the coffee community. In 2020, world production of green coffee beans was 175,647,060 kilograms bags led by Brazil with 
5% of the total table. Vietnam, Indonesia and Colombia were other major producers. As of 2021, no synthetic coffee products are publicly available but multiple bioeconomy companies have reportedly produced first batches that are highly similar on the molecular level and are close to the commercialization. Nordic countries are the highest coffee consuming nations. Consumption in Finland is the world's highest close to or more than double that of Brazil, Italy, France, Greece and Canada, which is the 10th highest consumer and close to triple coffee consumption in the United States, which ranked 25th in 2018. The top 10 coffee consuming countries measured per capita per annum are Finland, the first, Norway, the second, Iceland, the third, the fourth is Denmark, the fifth Netherlands, the sixth Sweden, the seventh Switzerland, eighth Belgium, ninth Luxembourg, the tenth is Canada. What coffee does to your body? A good question. When taken by mouth, coffee is likely safe for the most healthy adults when consumed in moderate amounts, about four cups per day. Coffee containing caffeine can cause insomnia, nervousness, and restlessness, stomach upset, nausea, and vomiting, increased heart and breathing rate, and other side effects. Is it healthy to drink coffee every day? Like so many foods and nutrients, too much coffee can cause problems, especially in the digestive tract, but studies have shown that drinking up to 4-8 ounce cups of coffee per day is safe, sticking to those boundaries shouldn't be heard for coffee drinkers in the US since most drink just a cup of java per day. Is coffee bad for teens? Studies show caffeine consumption can affect a teenager's concentration and ability to sleep, which in turn may slow the maturing process of their brains. And because of their smaller body weight on average, caffeine has more than twice the impact on children than it does on adults. What drug is in caffeine? Caffeine is a stimulant drug which means it speeds up the messages traveling between the brain and the body. It's found in the seeds, nuts and leaves of a number of different plants including Caffea Arabica used for coffee, Thea Sinensis used for tea. Is Rwanda coffee strong? Methodical coffee's Rwanda Kanzu Lot number 11, coffee is known for its smooth and tea-like body, but the medium roasted beans will still give you the strong high quality flavor you expect from your brew. Can coffee make you fat? It may slightly boost weight loss efforts or help prevent weight gain, but there is no solid evidence that caffeine consumption leads to noticeable weight loss. What is the best coffee in the world? The best coffee beans in the world by 2021 are led by Tanzania Pea Berry Coffee, Hawaii Kona Coffee, Nicaraguan Coffee, Sumatra Mandolin Coffee, Sulawesi Toraja Coffee, Mocha Java Coffee, Ethiopian Harad Coffee, Ethiopian Yigachefe Coffee, and others follow. What are the advantages of drinking coffee? Here are the top ways coffee can positively impact your health. First of all, you could live longer. Your body may process glucose or sugar better. You are less likely to develop heart failure. You are less likely to develop Parkinson's disease. Your liver will thank you. Your DNA will be stronger. What are the disadvantages of coffee? Here are 9 side effects of too much caffeine. Anxiety. Caffeine is known to increase alertness. Insomnia. Caffeine's ability to help people stay awake is one of its most praised qualities. Digestive issues. Muscle breakdown. Addiction. High blood pressure. Rapid heart rate. Fatigue. And ladies and gentlemen, that's what I have for you today. Please continue to watch subscribe, sharing, and of course sharing with us your ideas in comment section. This was the chart. God bless you. See you next time.